Hey, I'm Zinzi Okenyo. I'm Shari Sebens. And we are the co-directors of Is God Is by Alicia Harris. And these are our script notes for script notes. When there's a first read, which usually happens on the first day, I like to make a line and write sound cue or lighting cue just based on my initial instinct. So then I can pass it on to the designers and the creative team. I can see I've got like three of those on here yeah. already. I'm awesome. like, oh, they line up good, good, yeah. good. So this is the second scene. We have met the twins previously in their apartment. They receive a letter, assuming their mother has been dead their whole life. They receive a letter from her saying that she's alive and she would like to see them. I am very word specific and punctuation specific. I've circled and highlighted words and grammar. Eventually Zinzi gets there, but I jump there. <laughs> like I love it. Shari always, like, Shari has a lot more uh, notation in her in her script, which I love. We complement each other because you are, like often I look over you and you're like just super, super into yeah. it. And um, we kind of tag team in terms of the things that we've seen and the things that we've heard. The other really interesting thing specifically about this text is that the punctuation is pretty wackadoo. Mm -hmm. There's lots of like spatial gaps, which is pretty interesting. And on this page, you, don't you bleep, touch my, touch my babies. And you know, there's gaps there's like yeah. maybe three spaces in between each word. And I think that's really interesting because it tells the actor that something else is happening. Mm. Maybe it's, you know, elongating it or maybe they are just finding it hard to breathe. Mm. And so there's lots and lots of cues in here mm. for the actors and for us to really expand the expression of the piece. This particular script and the typography has a very solid map to it, which is really cool. Mm. Like I'll write yeah. big things that I have to remember, I guess thematics or key character information to make sure that we're taking it with us throughout the whole script, throughout the whole show. There's a moment where the mother, she starts to speak as the children when they were three. And I've just highlighted that section here to remind myself to talk to Joe, our sound designer, mm. about whether we will potentially uh, pitch shift the voice up into a higher register or make it small or, you know, the lines are, Daddy, where you been? And he's saying, on the moon, the moon, you know, maybe we'll might go, make it go, mm. <laughs> For me, there's a lot of musicality in the yeah. script and there's clues here about how to find certain rhythms. Yeah. There's these... UH, which is like, uh, and they're all over the page and they're of different lengths. And to me, it looks like music scoring. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty interesting. You know, we've been talking about, there's this like YouTube reference of Jill Scott mm -hmm. doing, uh, you've got that written <laughs> down. Written on my <laughs> um, Jill Scott, who's an, you know, an amazing musician and poet. She uses mm. the word I at the beginning of one of her speeches and she says it like, I, 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 yeah, you know, it and feels so like you're in surround sound, but it's one woman. Totally. Yeah. This is a moment that, you know, you really need to pay attention to why she has not given us words. Why mm -hmm. are they not able to speak? What are they thinking? And so for us, it'll be, a, I actually really want to do this, put, like find an actual music for them Love. to yeah. really do it in unison. Yeah. A lot of plays use beat, the word mm. beat in brackets. Alicia does not do that very often. It says a silence. And then we have the uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So we know as directors that we need to build all the way to that silence and make sure that there aren't any pauses before that so we can really earn that space. Mm -hmm. 